Hi everyone, it's Paola. So today I thought I would sit down and I would um, sip and I would just talk to you about starting school. So um, congratulations, you made it to college. Uh, I never thought I'd make it, but here I am a graduate of one. So I'm gonna give you some tips if you're starting into graphic design or, or in art school and yeah that's what we're gonna talk about so let's do that now honestly i feel like an angel the sun is shining through the windows i'm wearing white i'm feeling good i'm feeling blessed so let's talk so if you are starting college right now at a university or an art school or whatever you call it um if you're starting right now and you are just like a little overwhelmed which I understand, I feel you, it can be overwhelming. It's a very overwhelming time. You're starting a whole new thing that you just never experienced before. And it can be exciting, it can be scary, it can be fun, um, but I am here to tell you some things that I wish I had known when I was starting to make the whole process a little bit easier. So my first wisdom that I'm going to give to you as a gift <laughs> even though I don't feel that wise, but you know, I have some experience. I went through college, I went through art school, I made it, uh, is that everyone is exactly where you are. So don't go into class on the first day and get overwhelmed by seeing all the other people and seeing what they're up to and maybe they look confident and maybe they're like sketching in their amazing little sketchbook, all these like cool designs that you have never done in your life. Don't worry. They are exactly where you are because even if they look confident on the outside, in the inside they're feeling just as like, uh, about it as you are because they've also never been to college, they've also never experienced something like this. They're just there in the same boat as you are to learn just as you are. And since they're in the same boat as you, they have never experienced all of this. They've never been to college. They've never gone through art school. Yeah, they may be an artist already. They may be into graphic design, maybe picked it up in high school a little bit. But trust me, you are not like unprepared. You have prepared yourself as much as you can. You have experienced as much as you can in your in your high school years and middle school years basically that's all you've had leading up to this so it's not like all these people have had jobs been designers already are already like working in the industry um and like so what if they have if they're like an older person or they know a few more things than you do or maybe they love to draw and you don't love to draw so what it doesn't matter because you're there, you're all in the same boat, you're all gonna get a degree together, and it really doesn't matter that they are doing something different than you. It doesn't mean they're better, it just means they're different. So go in with a confident mind, calm down a little bit if you're feeling overwhelmed, because no one is gonna show you up. You're there to learn, you're all there to learn, and like, if someone's trying to show you up, who cares, you're all adults. No one's gonna care about who's cool and who's not cool. So my second piece of advice kind of pertains to the first piece of advice in that don't be overwhelmed, don't let anything knock your confidence going in, just you, you're talented enough to get there, you've been accepted, you're there, you're at art school, you're in an art major, um, but you still have to work. So I know that art majors get a reputation that it's just stupid, it's like filler classes, we're not gonna get a job, you're just doing like busy work, like it's all just fun projects, it's not any real work, like try medical school, whatever. We all have our issues in our majors, but you do have to work really hard in art school, obviously. Now anyone who's passionate about art and knows that they wanna do that full time know that it's a lot of work. They know it's not just fun all the time. But it is a great profession to get into. So like for me, being a graphic designer, it was a hard program and there were obviously like lots of projects, lots of deadlines, like presentations, you have like group things you have to do, there's a lot of late nights, but it's all worth it if you really, really love it. So you definitely have to love it and you definitely have to expect that you're going to be working hard even though it can be fun at times, it can be very fun, but it also can be very, very challenging. Uh, so don't slack off, don't think that it's gonna be all the the reputation that it had, that art school has. Like, it's going to be a challenge, but it's going to be very rewarding as long as 
it's something that you love. I mean, look at me. I made it, so. I can make it, you can make it. Something that I want to leave you with, which I don't think I really paid attention to while I was in school that much, was creating things that I could put in my portfolio later. Um, so this goes for any art major, not just graphic design, but I would get projects and I would just sort of just go go with the flow and I would go with what the project is and I would do it for the assignment or you know some people you know you have deadlines you have other things going on you have other classes and sometimes it can get overwhelming and I understand that that you're thinking like okay I'm just gonna get it done for the project and that'll be it but really take the time if you have the chance and obviously like you want to work hard on your on your projects and you're in your art field you want to work hard on those specific projects so make it work for you like if there was a project that came up and it was like say like a packaging project that I had I made sure that it was something that I mean I got a little freedom on it but I, I made sure it was something that I wanted to see in my portfolio later so when I was presenting work after school I was definitely thinking ahead uh, that I had a lot to show because I was actually taking it seriously and like making the package exactly what I wanted so then I Feel, could feel proud of it and show it off later to potential employers. It's really easy to just think like, oh, I'm gonna throw this together for class. And I definitely did that a bunch and I definitely regret it because I, like we had process books that we had to make for some of our projects and two seconds before class, I'd be printing it out, stapling it and handing it in. And that didn't really work for getting a good grade. And it also didn't work for having something good to show later. So definitely think about what you're doing when you're doing it try hard make the work that you're proud of because you know it, you never know how it could help you in the long run and one more piece of advice that I'd like to leave you with is have fun and make the most of it because it goes by really fast and I can't believe that I've graduated and I'm not gonna have those four years ever again and that mm, makes me kind of sad <laughs> I'm like kind of feeling like reflective right now I don't know nostalgic already uh, but yeah enjoy it while you can make the most of it make the best art have so much fun make friends talk to your professors get opportunities take every opportunity you can uh, like become friends with people that can give you connections get internships hang out with professors because they're awesome and yeah that is all the advice I'm going to leave you with so I hope you do well in art school. Um, let me know what art schools you guys are going to, what you're studying, I don't know, things like that. Like, talk to me. I can give you more advice in the comments if you have questions about starting school or if you're applying to school right now. Let me know if you wanna see that kind of video, like how to apply and all of that um, by giving this video a thumbs up. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. And that's the tea on that, because you're the coolest one in there, trust me. You watch my videos, you're the coolest one in there.